Oh, but just another thing about the Alto. So I feel very negative about the tournament. So You mean you're mad at the organizer or you think you're going to do badly? I feel negative about my chess. Yeah, but it's under 1,400. I couldn't feel... But do you, just you saying that puts pressure on me. Oh, you're going to do great. You're in the bottom do well, shit, do shit well, section. Do well. Do well. <laughs> How can you not do well? You're in the shit section. Yeah, you're going to do well. And also, not only are you playing in the low <laughs> section, there's no kids. That's true. I mean, you got you got two advantages. I don't mind playing kids. And I obviously Thanks, Kangaroo. Obviously couldn't have anything against the organizer because Peter's a good friend of ours. <laughs> Yeah, the shit section. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a shit show. By the way, your section has most of the players. That's yeah. that's the big section. Yeah. Yeah, because we're all shit. No, it's not that. <laughs> it's the most people in the U.S. Chess Federation under fourteen hundred. Thank you, Pete Schneider. I know mm-hmm. that. It's just it's very disappointing. See, chess. Here, l- let me explain why people who are low very rated think they're bad at chess and they're not. It's a complicated explanation. You tell us we are. Now, fo- focus. Okay, focus. Not you, them. If your rating is really high and you're better than everybody else, usually you keep playing chess when you're 1,700, 2,000, 2,300, et cetera. When your rating is between 100 and 1,000, which is half of the USCF, a lot of them are like, all right, I give up. Even though you're better than most people, okay? There's billions of people in the world. If you're actually 700 strength, that's your strength. And you go out on the streets and you play people who haven't played in tournaments or haven't played chess online, you destroy them. Okay. But if you play in tournaments a lot and you play online a lot, probably the average is about 1,200. And so people who are rated 400, 500, 600 and never get better, there's a lot of people like that. They quit. So now the pool of chess players is higher rated because the higher rated players don't quit as much. And the low-rated players are like, I lost 30 games in a row. I quit. Rawr, I'm mad. And that didn't happen to me. I, I lost every game ever. When I was 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I played in a slow tournament, I scored about 15%. I lost almost all of my games. But I didn't say, well, I'm rated 900 for three years. I quit. I just kept playing. And then eventually you get better. Now, Karen's issue is she started as an adult. If she started when she was six, she'd be super GM by now. But, you know, the truth hurts. Well, and Tough I have, being an adult. I have a lot of responsibilities. I mean, I have I children. told you not to be an adult, and you didn't listen. <laughs> and we have a home, you know, stuff breaks. And then I, the, game, the stream yesterday, I mean, that was about three hours of work for me. That was like a three-hour nap for to me. To set that up. So I have a lot of stuff that I'm doing, and I like the stuff that I'm doing. But it's not like I can sit around all day studying. Karen told me to take a nap while she was working so I wouldn't bother her. 